We're ready to do this. And rain coming. I hope it's rain to fall. I try to do this real fast before rain fall because it rain sound like it's ready to fall now. So let me get into this real fast. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. Yeah, we know, we know, we know. I've seen it everywhere. I've been following Ministry of Health and CNC3 and all those new channels and stuff. And yes, Corona is here in Trinidad and Tobago, unfortunately. So far, as of what today is, the 15th, yes, the 15th of March, we only have two cases of corona in the country and people getting on rail crazy we need to stop it we rail need to stop it so what I'm going to do is give some tips that I have found on the World Health Organization website and on the Ministry of Health website to help us to prevent getting sick and the spread of corona so let me get into it real fast because I was saying Rain coming now. I don't want the rain to fall and I make a hear mess. So I'm sure they can probably hear the one one drop that's right now. But I'll write it down with on my phone. First and foremost, you all need to frequently wash your hands. Please, 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 please. Matter of fact, all you shouldn't even wait for Corona to be washing all your hands. This is supposed to be a normal thing. Frequently wash your hands for 20 seconds. They have videos online showing you how to properly wash your hands. So please wash it with soap not the in the water kind of thing no wash your hands properly you know right so frequently wash your hands to prevent the spread of this germ and any other germ for that matter make sure and do it please frequently wash your hands next tip is please people you see when all the research and things here's what i need all this to do i need all this to look up things from reliable sources not these random things all over the place that are from reliable sources so like world health organization as i said before ministry of health and those places please do not be looking up things and getting it from random websites that give you all your all kind of information that ain't right please because then all you have wrong information all you spread wrong information and it will cause problem so please get from reliable sources now please 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 next step is to stop please stop with the panic buying that ain't making no sense it's not making no sense and the toilet paper saying though like why all you buying all the toilet paper why all you need to stop with the panic buying because all you want to buy 20 hundred sanitizers for all you alone and then you could have other people that don't have sanitizer or hand soap or anything to clean the hands and stuff and that's still gonna make the virus spread and when you clean and somebody else have germs on their hands because they don't have the necessary things to wash and clean their hands and they spread that germs all over the place that making sense they're still spreading it people can still get sick so even though yes buy sanitizers and hand soap and all these things just make sure you leave for other people just buy enough not over amounts and panic buy and you're buying everything in the grocery and when people go in the grocery they have nothing that don't make sense so stop panic buying right we're not doing that right the next thing if you have the symptoms or suspect that you may have corona what you need to do is to self isolate yourself and call not go to the hospital eh? don't do that call Call the medical center that's closest to you and they will be able to let you know where to go and whether or not to go to get tested for the corona. They'll ask you a couple of questions, obviously, to verify if you may have the disease or not. But when they do just panic and run to the hospital and because if you really do have corona and you go to the hospitals or the health center or whatever, you're exposing other people to this virus and you're not helping. You're real not helping. So please, please, please. If you suspect that you have the corona or you have the symptoms of corona, self-isolate yourself in your house and then call the medical authorities to get further information and know what to do. Please. Please. Okay, another tip. 
When you cough and sneeze, you know, no, no. You see that? We're not doing that, right? We're really not doing that. What you need to do is cover your cough in your forearm, in your elbow, you know. Cough there or use a disposable tissue to either cough or sneeze into. Dispose of it and then immediately wash your hands. Don't throw it away after you don't touch it. And then, hey dog, with the seat. No. You're coughing or sneezing into your elbow. You're not dab now. Do the dab, yeah? Cough and sneeze there. Or use a disposable tissue and then obviously dispose of it and immediately wash your hands. That prevents the spread of any, any, any germs, right? So the next tip, obviously, stop spreading fake news. Stop it. Stop it. I literally, literally had somebody tell me fake news like a day or two ago, and I was like, human being. You see these propaganda spreadings and and and. All this other nonsense don't do it now like I posted on my Instagram stories like about two days ago you know talking about the corona and whatever and a random person who will remain nameless jump into my DMs and started telling me fake news I wouldn't tell you what to say because then they gonna know who it is but they started giving me fake news and propaganda and I was like I didn't tell them anything because I don't need to go into that because they clearly believe what they're telling me again don't spread fake news, get them from reliable sources. Get your information, as I said before, from reliable sources. So stop spreading fake news. Don't, no, you're just gonna make panic ensue more than it done already ensue when people go in and start to think things and behave in ways that they shouldn't be. So please stop spreading fake news. Stop that. Stop it. Right? Also, Keep your family and yourself healthy, you know, try to build your immune system, your vitamins, your, yeah, make sure and do that, please, and also try to avoid any kind of contact with anybody else, not like, no handshaking, stay three feet or more away from people, don't be in crowded areas, or stop the party, I'm sure I like the party, stop the party, don't go no party, no get together, no stay home. That's all they stay home. All they don't have nothing to do. All they don't have work to go to. Stay home. Please. You don't need to be out here, there, and everywhere. And have, like my sister tell me, have something for the corona party. Really, Trinis? Really? Why? Just, I, I don't even know what to say about that. Just why? Why? Stop that for me, please. You're not supposed to be in you know, public setting with a whole bunch of people, all the spreading germs are wrong and we trying to contain this thing in the country, trying to contain it. So don't, don't do that now. Please don't do that. Right? The party and the, the get-togethers and the linemen and the being out when you don't need to be out, cut it out. Please just cut it out. So we trying, we best to keep this thing as minimal as possible. We know the whole world dealing with it but there are things that we can do to stop the spread or keep the spread of it down to the low end of the, the spectrum now right so let's do everything that is said by the ministry of health and will health organization and stuff like that you know keep your hands clean you know, keep your family clean and safe make sure and keep surfaces clean and stuff like that in order to stop the spread of this virus and any other germs for that matter because you get a little like James now, so keep it, right? Just make sure you do what is necessary to prevent the spread of this gym. Be sure to take every preventative measure to stop the spread of the COVID-19 virus that is going around right now, aka Corona. Please, 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 because we don't want anybody else to end up with it. We don't want anybody, you know being sick or dying from it we have no death cases thank god but we want to prevent it right we want to make sure it's not getting worse we already have schools being closed um a lot of places have no church i know they have no church so they i just saw something on the ministry of health instagram page today where they said that you know avoid you know closed setting kind of gatherings so like workshops classes um training sessions all these things 
cut it out, postpone it or, or reschedule it or something because it's not happening right now and that's only because we need to protect ourselves, we need to keep safe, we need to keep others safe, don't just think about yourself, we need to keep others safe as well. So let me do what we need to do, what we're supposed to do, the writing for one strainies, please. And also I want to give a huge, 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 big, big boom shout out to every single medical staff of Trinidad and Tobago for putting their lives at risk every single day. And even now in this situation where, you know, they have to deal with these people that may have contracted the disease and stuff like that. They put in their lives at risk every single day and right now even more so. So I want to give a huge, huge shout out to them. Much, much love going out to every single doctor, nurse and, you know, anybody that works in the healthcare facility right now. Big, big shout out to you all because you all, you all doing a solid and we can't even express how much, how much we thankful for that. So. Big shout out to you all, big up all yourself, all you're doing it, all you're, all you're out there keeping the world safe and thing. So, thanks guys. So guys, I'm not a doctor. No, I'm not. So, don't say I tell all the medical advice. I'm telling you all to go to the relevant authorities, find out from World Health Organization, Ministry of Health, and they have other in the Ministry of Health, they tell you all the places that you can check out information and follow up on things to make sure you know what's going on and what to do. Yeah, check them out. I'm not a doctor. Don't, you know, say, oh, she tell me this. Check out your yeah. Ministry of Health, World Health Organization as well, to get your proper information to know what to do. So that's the end of the video, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and become part of our island family. Click on the notification bell so you can get notified every time I post a video. Share it with all of your friends. Like it if you like us. If you like me. If you like my shenanigans. Comment down below and I'll hit you a shout out. Yeah. I've been doing that for the past couple of videos now. Today, however, I'm not doing any shout outs. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. But next video, you'll definitely get a shout out. So, comment down below and I'll shout you out. I'll see you next time on the island.